All right, we're going to be doing hand washing for nursing today. And we turn the water on, the warm. You just use warm water. It'll never be hot enough to kill the germs for your, on your hands. Get your liquid soap, antibacterial soap. Put your hands under the running water. Scrub them good. That friction will help carry that bacteria right on down the drain. Clean your nails. Each time that you wash your hands, you want to clean your nails and clean between your fingers. Get all of the, as much as you can, and rub well. And then when you get ready to, when you're done, the soap is off. Keep your hands from splashing water all over the place because that carries bacteria. Take the towel, dry your hands well in between the fingers, and when it's done, you turn it off the hot water and the cold water and dispose of the towels. Uh, the bar soap is here because it's a no-no. This um, antibacterial hand wash is here to let you know that it's good for in-between. Uh, many times you just have, you want to just keep your hands nice and clean and keep the, the bacteria count off of your fingers, off your hands to keep down cross-contamination but it is not to be used as hand washing. It's only to be used as a backup, or if you can't wash your hands, it sure does help. But this is the way you wash your hands before you take care of a patient, before you eat. Your, even your, when you're eating, you want to wash your hands before. You want to wash your hands after you use the bathroom. We all know that. But we're trying to talk today about cross-contamination for patients. And if you wash your hands, you will decrease that bacteria count on your hands, and it goes right on down the drain. And then you dry your hands well, because wet hands are, can be just as deadly as not washing your hands, because if it's wet, we know that bacteria likes those warm, dark places to grow, and we're trying to decrease that bacteria count on our hands. And so we need to dry them very well when you get through so that you're not getting water all over the place, so that the, the bacteria are not going to be growing where the water is. So I cannot stress to you enough how important hand washing is. Uh, it's been a part of my life for over 40 years of, in healthcare. And in fact, when I was teaching school, it was one of those things of I was a hand washing nut because I washed my hands so much. But patients need to be protected, and we need to be protected. Stat the, the healthcare personnel have to be protected. So hand washing is the number one thing around the world that will decrease uh, cross-contamination. 